I guess my story starts like so many others, with a girl. A girl who worked in a photography store in a quiet little corner of Toronto, Canada. <laughs> Julia. What are you doing, Harry? Are you meant to be playing with that camera? <laughs> the two of us grew up together, born the same month, lived on the same block. To her, we were best friends. To me? Well, never mind. I know you have to test it, but does it always have to be on me? Well, you're not getting a serious photo out of me. I can assure you of that. I shall be silly until you put that camera away. How about now, Harry? How do I look? Right. I have to get back to work now. You should do the same. Morning, my good man. Morning, sir. How may I help? A portrait, perhaps, in that fine uniform? Name's Barrett. Major Barrett. I'm looking for a photographer. Well then, Major, you've come to the right place. Boy, bring some wine for the Major. The good stuff. Upstairs. Who is this fine fellow, then? Your son, I take it. Oh, God, no. That's just Harry. Works for me. Utterly useless. Forgive me, but have we met before? Your face looks familiar. Ah, uh, I've been in the papers a bit. Done the odd recruitment poster. Oh, my. Welcome. How are things over in your major? As well as can be expected. We fight the good fight as best we can. Fine place you have here. Do you take commissions? Outside assignments? Julia, come over here and say hello to the Major. He's a real war hero, been in the papers and everything. Nice to meet you, sir. I'm Julia. Martin Barrett. And the pleasure's all mine. So, this Harry lad, can he use a camera? That he can is one redeeming feature, Major. Boy, bring some wine for the Major. The good stuff, upstairs. Boy, bring some wine for the Major. The good stuff, upstairs. My parents moved to Toronto from Boston when I was just a boy. But ever since what happened to mom and dad, Julia's father took me in. Taylor gave me a job and a place to sleep. He didn't need to. He took care of me for years. Upstairs. Boy, bring some wine for the major. The good stuff. Upstairs. Boy, bring some wine for the Major. The good stuff, upstairs. Christ, boy! I said bring the good stuff! Useless! Poor lad. I'm sure he's trying his best. <laughs> Here you are, Major. To your health. Why, thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Now, you said something about needing a photographer? Yes, yes. Who took these? They're exceptional. Just the kind of pictures I'd need in the fight against the Germans.
Ah, oh, blödes Funkgerät. Kurt, du bist der Techniker. Reparier das Ding. Brennt immer um dieselbe Zeit durch. Schnell, die Berichte kommen gleich. Richtig gehört, Kurt? Ja, 125? In der Einheit ist auch dein Sohn Max, oder? Alles noch unbestätigt. Ist wahrscheinlich gar nichts, aber ich sag's den anderen. Dear Katrin, I've done something I know you will not agree with. It's about Max. It's about our son. I know now why his letters are not reaching you at the farm. Wir warten schon. Zieh den Hebel. Die Ehre gebührt dir. Kann ich den Mut verlieren? Ich würde meinem Sohn gerne ein Bild davon schicken. Wir brauchen einen Fotograf. Ich würde meinem Sohn gerne ein Bild davon schicken. Wir brauchen einen Fotograf. Ich platze vor Stolz, wenn dieses Schiff endlich fliegt. Bewegung, Kurt. Das ist mein Platz. Und ich mache jetzt Pause. Ich würde meinem Sohn gerne ein Bild davon schicken. Wir brauchen einen Fotograf.
Ich will nur noch schlafen. Was für ein Anblick. Wir dienen in unserem Land wirklich gut, Kurt. Mir fehlt die Heimat. Das wird mir wohl nie langweilig. Fast geschafft. Noch ein Hebel. Da hinten, vor der Leiter. meinem Sohn gerne ein Bild davon schicken. Wir brauchen einen Fotografen.
auf einer der oberen Plattformen. Danke, Kurt. Wunderschön, oder? Viele von uns hier in der Fabrik haben Söhne in der Einheit. Sie haben sich alle zusammengemeldet, alle aus demselben Dorf. Wolf sagt, es ist noch nichts bestätigt. Ist bestimmt nur ein Missverständnis. Das würde ich gern glauben. 
Aber es war die Nummer ihrer Einheit. Und wir haben Krieg. Kurt, dein Sohn Max ist doch auch in der Einheit IR 125. Machst du dir keine Sorgen? Entspann dich. Ihr macht euch alle nur so viele Sorgen, weil die Heimat so weit weg ist. Kannst du den Direktor fragen, Kurt? Er weiß bestimmt etwas und er respektiert dich. So the pictures from Taylor's new camera were great. And Julia looked beautiful. But I'd never tell her that, of course. Don't know why, but I kept one of those photos. Still have it to this day. Come on, boy. Do your damn job. There's no rush. I'm sure the lad's trying his best. So make it a good one, boy. For pity's sake, boy, come here. I'm busy now, Harry. Go see if my father needs help. Major, would you also mind a picture with my daughter, Julia? Not at all. It would be my pleasure. Come here, girl. In you get. Make sure you frame them both in, Harry. Come on, girl. I don't bite. Tell me, Major, are you married? Father! Truth be told, I wish it was me in that photo. The way she was around Barrett. <laughs> I'd never seen her like that before. Julia was right. He was a hero. Der Direktor weiß bestimmt etwas. Wir müssen ihn fragen. IA 125? Die meisten Jungs von zu Hause sind in der Einheit. Bitte, Kurt, frag den Direktor. Du kennst ihn länger als wir alle. Er respektiert dich. answers. We all did. So many of us at the factory have sons who went to war together. Some were even in the same unit as Max. The chief had a direct line of communication to the front. If anyone knew the truth behind these rumors, it would be him.
Ah, oh, ich habe heute schon wieder Nachtschicht. schon seit Stunden. Es ist richtig, dass wir hier sind. Das weiß ich. Hey, auf dem Land ist es noch schlimmer. Da wird langsam alles knapp. Die deutschen Vorräte sind so knapp, wir mussten den Nachschub für Bulgarien streichen. Ich habe dir nichts zu sagen. Nur nicht den Mut verlieren. Diese verdammte Uniform kratzt. Ich arbeite schon seit Stunden. Ich verstehe. Einheit IR 125. Aber wenn ich es Ihnen jetzt sage, legen Sie die Arbeit nieder. Viele von Ihnen stammen aus demselben Dorf, aus Alpiersbach. Ja, das sehe ich auch so. Ich sage es Ihnen sofort. Dort drin geht es ziemlich laut zu. Mit wem spricht der Direktor da? Ich frage mich, ob meine Frau an mich denkt. Ah, Sie kommen genau richtig. Es gibt Neuigkeiten. Einige Männer aus der IR 125 werden zwar vermisst, aber deswegen sind sie noch lange nicht tot. Wir wissen bestimmt bald mehr. Aber fürs Erste muss die Produktion weitergehen. Wir können ihnen jetzt nicht helfen. Wir können nur beten. The others may have been content to pray, to hope for the best. But I could not. What became of our son's unit? I had to know. So I have gone to the front, Katrin. I have gone to find Max. I'm impressed, Harry. You're a real professional with that camera. Listen, I'm heading back to France in a few days. You should join me. Help your country, take a few photos. Return home a hero. And remember, Harry, women love a man in uniform. And it was in that very moment I decided I was going to war. That night, I left and never looked back. Even though it would get her in trouble, Julia gave me Mr. Taylor's best camera. Truth be told, I didn't ever want to go to war. I only ever wanted that uniform. Maybe one day Julia would look at me the way she looked at Major Barrett. After that, it was all a bit of a blur. So much happened over that next month. They signed me up, put me on a train to the coast. They even gave me that uniform. You will think I'm impulsive. But to me, there, there was no choice. Our son is missing at war. I, I cannot deal with doubt. I will not live with uncertainty. This is my path now. <laughs> 